we've uh, we've we've been uh, working on album number two mainly, um, doing some demos. Just been to Bucks Uni a couple of weeks ago. Had very a really nice, good time. Very nice studio there. Very very nice. Very, very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're kind of in a bit of a writing kind of period at the moment between between albums. So, um, and that seems to be going really well. And that recording we did at the uni um, has come, come, yeah. come together really well. So. Recording the last record, it was like because it sort of took quite a lot of time to actually do it. But we sort of was half sort of when we could do it, and half sort of taking our time and getting you know it just right and stuff like that. And guy who was recording it and trying to do stuff with it, like uh, he was sort of almost like learning on the job. So it's like unfortunately, it did take quite a lot of time to finally get to the point where we could release it. But when we did, all of us were just like, you know, I still listen to the album like loads now, and it's like, I'm still super proud of it because we put so much effort into finally getting to this point. It's almost like a bit more, I don't know, it's a bit more it's sort of rewarding. It's more yeah. rewarding, you know, you feel you've actually really accomplished something. Like, it's instead of like you go normally for recording an album, like you go into the studio for like maybe a, like a couple of weeks, a month, or something like that, and just heads down see at the end it's a bit more sort of you've had to work as you are doing other stuff like general life stuff and you're having to work around it and so yeah I'm, I'm still super super proud of it but you know that's the you know serving its purpose beautifully and you know obviously gives now that we've got lived properly in the band I'm really excited to sort of move for the you know take it further and work on the next record and you know well I wasn't the singer in, in, in the band at the time but I still sang on it on one song that I wrote with these guys and um, yeah that was, I was still part of it but not not to great extent because Chris Arrell the old singer was was the full time singer at the time so yeah it was a really good experience he did, yeah he did a fantastic job of, of singing on the record <laughs> Today we are here in, uh, where are we? <laughs> I have no idea, somewhere in somewhere the countryside. In <laughs> uh, filming the video for our next single, Shivering and Dazed, uh, which will be out on the 22nd of April, yes. I believe. Um, that's coming out on Acapa Records. Uh, it's going to be the second uh, single taken from our first album, Speakeasy. Um, and uh, the video is accompanying and should hopefully be out, out and about uh, you know, as soon as possible. <laughs> It's always a giggle, to be honest. So like, where do we start? We're constantly, they're constantly taking the piss out of me, being the new guy and being half French. Doesn't help. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's always a good laugh, isn't it? Yeah, we're all currently in the band, sort of learning sort of broken French just so that we can insult him. It's really great, really, so. As you can tell, I'm really French. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's, um, there's no particular anecdote. I can't think of any right now. Um, that time when I shot on your head was nice, but no, it didn't happen. Although, was it, um, what was a good one is uh, we played, where was the place in Northampton again? What was it called? Oh something? yeah, I can't remember, it was some we, pub. We, we, talk, we turned up, we, we were doing a couple of shows supporting the Sushi Opero, a brilliant Scottish band. Um, and uh, we turned up to this place and the, the area itself was uh, questionable. <laughs> Yeah, it was... <laughs> and it was, then we, it was like basically a pub in the corner of this sort of quite dodgy looking street. And a couple of the guys were like, we can't be in the right place. And sort of walked in there, and like there were people having their lunch. <laughs> and then we... Smell like fish and chips. Smell like fish and chips. And then we were like, actually walked in there and realised, oh, there's actually a tiny stage there. And someone's mm. eating their steak and chips on it. Like, and came back two hours later and it was a venue. Yeah, it's like magically, it's like put a couple of PA speakers in there and you're ready to go, so... So you get to play some bizarre places. Gig itself was actually kind of kind of fun. Really good. Yeah. It was just like the whole getting there, and it's just like 
where's the gig? I was actually not on the stage no. at all. I was in the crowd. I couldn't fit on the stage. So that's <laughs> quite a few festivals actually we're going to 2000 trees again which is going to be brilliant uh, we loved it a lot there last year uh, doing red fest doing truck festival uh, we're doing some stuff at great great escape as well in brighton yeah, May, two so days so great yeah doing two days so and we've got a ha like a handful of our own shows as well mm. um, i think we'll be touring the uk in may um and around the uh, single release as well mm. yeah best to kind of check out our, our website um, for kind of all the latest updates and stuff because we seem to be constantly adding new shows, um, shows all the time and stuff so yeah yeah